video shows him being harassed. Now, this was over the weekend at the Cincinnati Entertainment District. That's where we find KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields live with what they're doing and why. If you've been out here on a weekend night, chances are you've seen some street vendors. A video gone viral showed one of those vendors named Raul being harassed by a man while he was just trying to sell some flowers. This enraged many in the community, causing them to come together to raise money for Raul, but the amount they raised was more than what they imagined. This is Raul, a familiar face in El Paso's nightlife, selling flowers to the community. But a viral video shows one night where he met an unfriendly person. I told you last night, did nobody want to buy that And you trying to sell tonight. That video is shared on social media by the local page known as FitFam, drawing hundreds of concerned comments. And then we just started receiving hundreds and hundreds of messages just asking, like, where can we find this man? We want to go buy some flowers from him. From there, organizers decided to create a GoFundMe for the flower vendor with the goal of 2500 But in 24 hours, hundreds of donations totaled nearly $15,000. And even just the smallest amounts just really do help. You know, we've got anywhere from $5 donations to $300 donations. So I think it just proves, like, how selfless everyone is. We walked around the Cincinnati Entertainment District showing bar owners and patrons the video, asking if anyone knew the vendor. I've seen him. He carries, it's got to be probably 40 pounds worth of uh, flowers and, and backpacks and things. He's, he's trying to make a living. Bar owners telling KTSM they have Raul's flowers in their bar and allow him to sell inside. Patrons say he's well known and people just wanted to show their support. That's awesome. It really shows a lot about El Paso and it shows a lot about the people that are here. $15,000 is a lot of money and um, uh, I think that shows that we appreciate people like that. Now people out here tell me Raul has been selling these flowers for at least 10 years and the GoFundMe organizers say they're working with Raul's family to surprise him when the donations are finalized in a few days. I'm reporting live in West El Paso, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, Stephanie, thank you.